Most brands, they launch product in the typical boring way. We are launching XYZ new product, stay tuned because it will come out tomorrow. And this doesn't really build up any hype. This is super boring, no excitement, no anticipation, and frankly, really no strategy here. So today I want to show you with our e-commerce stores and, and partners, how we really do this, how we, we build hype, how we give people an irresistible offer, how we inject some urgency and scarcity to really milk this opportunity. I will show you a system, a strategy that helped multiple e-commerce stores. Our partners generate multiple five or even six figures in a matter of week with their product launch. I will reflect life at the most common mistake and also share a proven strategy that will get people buy your new product. So first of all, before we jump into the marketing strategy i want to lay out the basics that you will need whatever marketing strategy you have because marketing is only the third thing after a great product and a great offer in my opinion so this is what you will need obviously you will need a great product so if you don't believe that your product is amazing you would buy it yourself then just you know stop doing what you are doing you just need a great product second you need a great offer you want to come up with an irresistible offer now i don't want to talk about it but I really think offer beat good marketing and it's just better to have a great offer with an average marketing than having great marketing with an average offer next one you really want to hype up people and you want to start this early so not just one day before or two days before but at least a week or if not a month before you want to give people time to really get hyped up and the earlier you start the more they will hype that in general number four would be using social media in the right way you want to retarget your existing audience using ads you want to think about using influencers and also you want to post on social every single day that something big is coming so just stay tuned the next one would be urgency and scarcity so you want to inject this into your strategy because if you don't have this it doesn't matter how engaged people they are and how high up they are you are losing a bunch of money by not adding urgency and scarcity and and I really pray to everyone out there that make it believable. You want to add real scarcity or urgency into your offer. And finally, I shouldn't even mention this, but proper fulfillment. So you want to make sure that you have the actual inventory for your product launch and you want to prepare for success. So don't undermine yourself and believe in yourself and you really get prepared with your uh, fulfillment, your uh, shipping, your delivery process and just have have enough inventory for your big product launch. Okay, so after the basics now, let's jump into email marketing and how this can help you with your product launch. So the number one thing would be that you want to build a specific product launch list before the actual event. So what you want to do is you build a segmented email list, having people who are excited about your product launch. You wanna go out on social and on your website, you want to show this basically everywhere where you can and you want to share with people that you can sign up here to get fresh news about this uh, product launch so you want to set up a dedicated product launch list for people who are interested it's also a possible strategy to set up an early bird list you can give early access to some people a couple days before the actual launch so think about it and if you think you can build a list of at least few thousand people then it can be a right strategy for you number two will be your uh, pre-launch campaign so at least seven days before the actual product launch you want to announce that something big is coming this new product will be revealed soon and you can share stories with people every day through email but also through social media you can use ads as well influencers organic posts daily and of course your email campaigns but you want to share with people some behind the scenes and give them a sneak peek you can also share stories how the idea of this new product came up or how it's manufactured so basically you share a lot of content and uh, you know 
know things that you usually don't share with your audience and this will really build up the hype and do this not just through email campaigns but also all of your channels where you can. You also want to use retargeting ads through Meta, Google and other platforms so your already existing audience will not only see your social posts and emails but also they will receive your ad. And again if you want to have a pre-launch a couple days before the real launch then you can do it with your VIP and most engaged segment as well. Number three is the actual launch and this is the most important moment and the most exciting moment for a brand owner. So you want to send an email and actually a simple email to your whole list where you tell to your audience, your subscribers that okay now we are launching this new product, state the offer and simply just give them a call to action. So in our experience you want to keep this super simple otherwise it will confuse people. Also you send it to your whole list so many of them they don't receive and open your emails so again just keep this simple you want you don't want to over complicate this in this email you also want to inject your scarcity or urgency you can use countdown timers you can clearly state below your call to action what's your scarcity only 1000 products available only for the next i don't know seven days so things like that you want to make sure that this email is not only simple but also it's visually appealing and scannable people they can understand your offer in a second again you want to send this to your whole list because this email will generate most of your revenue also there are some tactics that you can use so those people who don't open this email in 12 hours then you can send them another email where you change the subject line you can change the copy a bit basically you make this a follow-up email and you tell them we just recently launched this product so here's the offer and check this out another idea is those people who actually click your uh, email and you can send them a special offer as well maybe you can get, give them a deeper discount to really nudge them to buy from your email so this is only for those people who clicked your very first launch email okay and once you had the launch day then typically a launch event is three up to seven days for a brand and during this time you want to send at least one email a day if you are a big brand even two per day and you really want to push hard you also want to share social media posts you still run your ads you run a lot of retargeting ads to your audience but basically email marketing is the only channel where you have a higher cadence than usual so send at least one email a day you want to remind people about the offer you want to use the same offer but you want to use different angles so maybe you can share customer reviews about happy customers who already have this product from the pre-launch pre list or you want to share industry secrets and how this product is manufactured and share the main benefit and you can also come up with the main possible objections and each email can handle one of those objections in a more broken down way in the meantime you can also retarget your non-buyers those people who clicked or those people who opened but uh, didn't click you can send them separate emails emails during this week as well and number five would be data-driven optimization so if you really lay down this strategy and even if you do it well every time there is something to learn and if you know just we think about Russell Branson or Ezra Firestone and these great marketers they've been doing this for more than a decade now so every year and every time when they launch a new product then they learn from this and that's why you want to rely on your data you want to know your engagement KPIs of course your revenue numbers your profitability and also what's the lifetime value of these new customers that buy the new product also you want to see these people who buy the first product what's the best natural next upsell to them so you want to track these you want to analyze these and you want to learn from each of your product launches so over time you will learn from these and you will make these better and more custom tailored to your own audience and here's my bonus tip for you. So what really works well for us is using plain text emails and use it sparely. So you don't want to overuse this, but your lunch email could be plain text or your uh, last few emails during the lunch event 
close to the end of the week. And these plain text emails typically have a high inbox rate. They really look like a real email from a friend or a family member. And you can write this from the founder or on behalf of head of customer support. So somebody who they think it's real and uh, you want to make it short, concise, and you want to make it uh, in a tone of a friend, family member, and you just simply tell them what's up, why you launched this new product, what are the benefits, and click here and this is the offer and just add some scarcity. So it works super well. Check out plain text emails and try them and I think you will be surprised. So to sum it up, the five crucial points of email marketing during product launches. So first, you want to build a list for your product launch and you want to make sure people are hyped up. Second, you want to pre-launch with teasers behind the scenes and you want to run it for seven days using daily email campaigns. Number three, you want to craft a super strong launch email email where you just clearly tell people what's the offer and what's the urgency and why they have to buy this product now. The number four would be your uh, post launch emails. You send them every day or twice a day and you have different angles how you state the offer and how you give the product, the new product to your audience and uh, why they need to buy this. You also use social media retargeting ads on the, all the nine yards basically. And the last point would be that you rely on your data, you analyze your product launch every single time. So over time you will learn a lot from this and every time you will make more and more profits and revenue from each of your product launches. Hope you enjoyed and even more importantly, you learned a lot from this video. Here at Budai Media, our goal is to help at least 1000 e-commerce businesses grow with high quality marketing because we can see too much shit out there. If you like this video, make sure that you go down, you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so you get updated of my weekly videos. We collected the top 100 email templates from the past six years and these generated tens of thousands of dollars for our clients. So go down and click the link and get this uh, 100 templates for free. And finally, I will drop you one more video here. Make sure that you check it out as well.